Hey guys, this is an extra special toy spot for the Batman fans out there. Um, we're going to be looking at the Batman, Batman to Batbot, Batman. Um, for those who follow the figure line of Batman, you're probably looking at this right now and you're thinking, I don't remember this, I don't remember seeing this in the stores. And you might be right. Um, the reason for it, and I don't quite know the backstory behind this, but allegedly this was a European release of the Batman. Um, it never came to Canada or the US, and unfortunately the only ways you can now find it are either through eBay, which uh, this is where I picked up this figure, or you can pick it up at conventions. Um, if you go to conventions, you might end up coming across a guy that really doesn't know what he has or what he's selling, and you might be able to get it for fairly cheap. Um, I paid a bit for it when I bought it originally, because I bought it, like I said, from a, a European buyer. If we have a look quickly, I, and I just did a review on Manbat, but if we have a look on the back of the packaging for Manbat, um, I think this Batman right here... Yeah, I think it was this one right here was released to us as the bat bot armor um, Or it was one similar like this it was it was similar like this guy But it was a little bit different it was red and it had gray in it and the head was a little bit different um, But if we have a look on the packaging here. You'll also notice too that the packaging varies as well That's the packaging we would normally get in the US and Canada and then this is the, we get a, a nicer mold, molded Batman logo at the top. Um, one other thing that also indicates that it could be a European release only is if you look at the description here, you got figure, figurine, and I'm not even going to read the other ones, but um, you basically have five or six languages on the, on the bottom here. And then there's a picture of the Batbot um, on the back. It shows how you can assemble the bat bot onto the Batman that it came with, and then the other figures in the wave. A very disappointing slew of Batman figures, as always. Um, and then the Batmobile, the different vehicles here. As well as, as on, along the bottom here, we have, of course, English. And we have English here, but then, of course, I always say, of course, but. Um, they've also thrown in French and, and like I was commenting, the other languages as well. So, I mean, that gives some indication that this this was, in fact, a European release only. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this guy up. I haven't opened this guy, but I'm going to open him. And what we'll do is we'll get a closer look at the figure. And I'll be right back. And after shedding some, some tears of opening this guy up, we now have Batman and his numerous Bat-Bot parts. Um, you'll probably notice right away, without me even saying it, that the Batman figure himself is a very small, small figure. Um, unfortunately, all I've got right, right now for comparisons is the Man-Bat that I just reviewed. Now, Man-Bat is hunched over, but... Normally, Batman, I think, would be a little taller. The figure itself is a, seems a lot shorter than what he should be, and it probably is only because of once you add the parts and everything else, he, he is of regular size. Um, I mean, the face the face is uh, nothing spectacular, and then, of course, uh, he's got blue. He's got the turquoise blue, and he's got a dark blue, and he's got some black on him. Um... The only part that really is going to stay on this figure after everything is added is just the legs themselves, which have some nice detailing. Um, it almost looks like these would be articulated, but it's just a solid piece. There is only really articulation in the knees. 
and in the shoulders and elbows, and then in the head. But all the stuff will be lost once the armor goes on. Um, his armor consists of a backpack that clamps on to the figure with the head. Um, he has two of these arms, and he has a backpack with a little missile launcher on the top. And we'll get into that after I put everything together. Now this is the first time I've opened them, so hopefully I'm not an idiot and I can't figure out how, to, how this goes on, but I'm pretty sure it's just a case of snapping this stuff on. We'll snap it on the back here and snap it over the front. And that looks like it went on right. Um, there's a little hole on the back and there's a little peg here. So we'll just snap those two together. And it looks like it's seen, it finishes off the top here, although it doesn't look like it sits all that well. That's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah. Okay, so the only thing now to add is the arms. There's a little clip on the side of the arms here. And I gotta make sure I got the right arm on here. And we'll just snap that into place. So that, I think, just clamps on. Like so. And then the other arm goes on on place, like that. And I think that's about it. The only thing that needs to be added is just the missile. And the missile can go right at the top here. And make sure I got it the right way here. And there you have the Batman Batbot. Um, it's a nice representation of the, the Batbot from the cartoon. Um, this Batbot premiered when Batman fought Bane for the very first time. Uh, it's unfortunate. I wish I had my Bane here. I would I'd show you guys the size comparison, but it's a shame that this Man Bat or this Man Bat. It's a shame that this Batbot isn't a little taller than what he is. It almost seems like he should be about about yay yay tall instead of a, a regular Batman size. But uh, the articulation still works in the arms. Although not by much, just because this backpack hinders it a bit. Um, there's a little button switch at the top here that can fire off the missile. Some nice detail here. Now this opens up, and I don't really know the reason why, because the instructions don't really give any indication why. At least I don't think they do. Let me just double check here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I put the card on the floor. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like the uh, the backpack does anything really. But one other thing that he does do as well is there's a little lever button on the on the side here that almost looks like it's going to fire this missile. Um, what it doesn't do though, it doesn't fire this missile, but instead it fires the entire hand. Um, the hand is attached to the missile section of it. Um, not sure why they, they didn't just have the hand fire off, but it's nice that at least it's they've got something else going on here. There we go. Overall, it's not a bad figure. And then the... that Oh, okay, there we go. You can open that so that the missile launcher goes inside. Okay, now we got it. Um, so there we have the bat bot. Um, I'll also bring out the very heavy, very large, and is it going to stand? There we go. And I'll pull this up. Well, I'll also show you the Batman from the Shadow Tech line. This is, of course, the bat bot that he used to fight Superman. So quite a quite a size difference. To, like I said, the this Batbot should have been a little higher, but uh, I mean overall, it's a nice figure. And like I said, finding it pipe might be a little harder just because it is a European release. But there you have a very special, very exclusive Batbot review. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.